Kwesi Apia wants to give the captain band to the DIU. Asamaja wants to quit football. Do you think it's because of the captain band? Well, we don't know for sure. You're on the street today to ask Ghanaians their opinions of it. Let's roll. Asamojan is quitting football. Do you think it's because of the captain band? Um, probably, but of course. I mean, if he's quitting, I think he should just quit. It's better for him to walk away before he's pushed to walk away. I mean, for the past two, three years, he's not been a very prominent key figure in the team. So I, if I was him, I would walk away before they push me away. Because, I mean, you're not, you're not the, the form that you have today. It's not like... As a Mojan, like 10 years ago. So, I mean, I would suggest that he should walk away before he's pushed to walk away because then it's not a, a happy ending story, if you ask me. Do you think it will have any impact on AFCON and then Ghana football? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, the history of the Black Stars, you know, they have always, you know, dealt with issues regarding fashion, uh, division within the team, Abedi Pele, Tony Yabua. And um, now, I don't, I don't want to believe it's true, but from now, what I'm hearing is there's a, a Samojan camp and the DIU, it's all, it's not, it's needless. We're a team, and if we're going to win, there's no team in the world that have won divided. You win united. So we cannot get to the trophy if we have two camps within one team. It's not going to work. It has never worked. But I blame the coach. If you take a decision, stand by the decision. The president has no need to intervene. If it's your decision that you don't need the guy, you don't need the guy. Every, the, you see, the coach must be able to stand on his feet and make the decision and stand by it. By running to, to, to president to save you and all, president intervening, I mean, come on. We need, it's about 38 years now, no trophy in Ghana. Do you think it's because he's old? Um... I mean, come on, Asamojan is, is not a small boy. I mean, I read he's 33 years old. Yeah. And um, I think the point is, he's, he, he's lost form. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we've had great, great, great players who have come, they had form, and then they lost form, and they're out of the scene. There's nothing wrong. And he's our number one uh, um, goal king in Africa and in Ghana. I mean, there's no two ways about that. Nobody's going to take that away from Asamojan. So I think we should, we should look at building the unity because it's not one person, one player that um, is going to deliver, yes. though one person can make a difference. Yes. But it's, it's, it's the teamwork, it's the team effort, it's the team having the chemistry to, to, to deliver. That's what we're looking for. Ghana needs a trophy. Ghana needs something that will unite us today. I mean, MPP and DC have divided us. Politics have divided us, education has divided us, tribalism has divided us, um, the church has divided us, entertainment. entertainment divides us. The only thing that unites us is when the black stars are facing the world, when the black stars are, are, are in the competition. Then you know that we are one. As a, as a country, it is the black stars that is taking us to the promised land. So it's high time Ghanaians, especially the political establishment and then the the leaders on the GFA and all that, it's time to look at the Black Star. It's what brings Ghanaians together, not politics. I don't believe in MPP and DC, but I believe in the victory of the Black Stars. So what advice do you have for Samojan out there? Uh, Samojan, all I can say is, I mean, if you deep, deep down, you know yourself better than any of us. You know you don't have the form, you know you don't have what it takes, but sometimes maybe your presence at the, at the AFCON can be a motivation, yes, can be an inspiration. Fine, I abide that. But if the coach said, well, I'm not going to start with you, it's no big deal. It's no hard feelings. Well, the younger players are much better. They are younger, stronger, faster. So there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, he should accept it and let's move on. We want a victory for Ghana, not a victory for Asamoah a victory for all of us that we will stand together, we will win a trophy. It's 38, 38 years now. No trophy. And look at how much money these players take. Look at what happened at Brazil. A lot of money. 
and for 38 years now, no trophy. So that means if you were born 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you've never seen any trophy in Ghana. And we're paying these guys, we're paying the coach, we're paying the team, we're paying everybody a lot of money. And we're getting nothing from it. So let me use this opportunity to encourage the coach, the players, and all Ghanaians. Let's stand by the team, let's support the team as one people, not as NDC uh, team or MPP team, as some politicians seek to create. We are one people and we are going to get to the promised land if we stick together we stand united and then we will get a trophy. For Ghana will rise again. Thank you. As Samoa is quitting football, do you think it's because of the captain band? Oh, not really yet. Why? Oh, like because maybe like we the fans of Asamoja, like we just want the good and the best for him to be in Ghana football. Like and he's a very good player. Like in case maybe when there's a difficultness, like he can just bring some impact in the team. Like he can just come out with maybe best way of solving like has his problem in scoring a goal, you know, like as much as very good, and not because of the captain man, that's why. Because, like, I think the comments from outside is very too bad, you know, for him, that's why. But do you think it will have any impact on the Afghan and then Ghana football? Oh, like, if as much as like will be in Ghana team, I think, like, that would be very good, yeah, that would be very good because it's a very good striker, you know. For Ghana now, like maybe he's the only one who can just rely on maybe in the AFCON, yeah, yeah. And I'll be happy if maybe Asamojan and Calvin, Prince Barton and Muntari and rest are able to just support. I think it's very good for that because I really miss that kind of team way back. Yeah, I really miss that place a lot, more than to see. But don't you think he's getting old? Oh, like for the old there, yeah, like he's getting old, but like you know, football is about experience. You may get old, but live. like the experience is there. Let's consider our former, like this player Zidane and Pelo. Like, see the way their age is, but still, like they can just maybe come out some exchange in playing football. You know, like if he's old, like can just able to make an effort in it. Why not we just let's say give him a chance? I mean, let's see what I mean, he can just bring in. So what advice do you have for him? Oh, okay, like for me, the, like Dolly now, like I'll just advise him, like maybe like he shouldn't just quit. You know, what you do for living, like you have to just do with your heart. And even like just make Ghana proud that you are very, you are Ghanaian, you are proud of us. Like, if, like he shouldn't listen the comments coming from outside. Like he needs to do what he just wants to do to make him proud. Okay, yeah. As a Mojan is quitting football, do you think it's because of the captain ban? Obviously. Yeah. Why do you say that? Um, we have we had news that um, saying that uh, the coach actually said, um, according to a prophecy, uh, 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 prophecy okay. that I mean he needs to take a captain from him. Otherwise, they can never I mean get the cup. So if that's the case, eh, I mean I understand him perfectly. If he says if that's the case, then he's not going to play anymore. I mean that's why it's enough. But what do you think it will have an impact on Afcon and then Ghana football? No, 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 no. It's not. Really? Yeah, it's not. Why? I mean, should he be in or out? I, I, I don't feel, I, I don't see anything. Because already, the squad in the hood, yeah, nothing better will happen. The squad what? The squad in the hood, nothing better will happen. So you think it will have any effect on AFCON? Not at all, not at all. And you, what advice do you have for him? For him? Just for courses in life and then push on, that's all. As a Mojan is quitting football. Do you think it's because of the cut, uh, captain band? Sorry, I'm not sure. Why? Um, because is he like like you said, the day you has been playing with Asamajan for quite a long time. If it's because of the captain band, I'm not sure they will be able to pair the two in a match. But I've watched several matches that the day you captain the team and then even play alongside Asamajan. So I'm not sure it's because of the captain band. But do you think it will have an impact on Ghana football and then the Afcon? Yeah. Because when he leaves, definitely it will give chance for the younger ones to set in. And then, by all means, the older ones must leave and then the younger ones will also So he's getting old? Yes, yes, because I can't compare his 2006 performance to his late 2014 World Cup performance. Yes, so it's, um, I'm, I'm sure it's not because of the, the captain band. So to you, he should quit? Not say quit football, but if he feels like he doesn't want to play Black Stars, and then continue with his football career in his, his, his club team, fine. But not to say quit football. So what advice do you have for him? Well, it is his decision. So 
I just say I'm, I'm cool with it and then he should go on. As a major is quitting football, do you think it's because of the captain band? Um, I don't really think it's because of the captain's band. It gets to a time where every footballer feels he has to focus on one thing, so or the other. So probably he, he, get, he has something he feels he needs to focus on more. And he think maybe when he adds the football and with his age, it's going to be a distraction or something. So, so you are saying he's getting old? Kind of. He's getting old and he feels like kind of he should quit and focus on other stuff too. You know, so that he gets full concentration. Maybe it might be a distraction to him. So it all boils down to be a personal thing that he has, a personal decision that he has taken. So do you think it will have an effect on Afcon and then Ghana football? Um, I should say it will have an effect because of the experience he's gained over the years and uh, the, how he can raise the team morale and other things. I must admit that he's going to have a great effect on our football. Yeah, that one, yeah, I should admit that. Okay, and what advice do you have for him? Um, I would say he should join, just join the technical team and you know, even if he if he can't even play for a country, whatever he has to give to the boys to cheer up them to victory, to win trophies, to help the team, yeah, his presence is much needed in the technical team and all that to raise the team. As a modern bedai football, now shall I captain band Nintiana? Oh, maybe maybe a bit of a bounce up because. Nipadi ni nipa ni trim e bia wo mo je no e bia ye ne ya cause ono so no are no e kura che na wan kasa margin se wo na wo hwe fie na che e bu sasa si bi wa wo mecha na wo ba ya wo mo se de eh unu aketu ano nche are na e be style o se peni no e den o che nte betu ma be se captain ba no no na ma na o den o jai nte no o se wo hwe na wo mo de wo de bibia tutu na kwem na wo chance so so be na de baba afcon ne so ene gana football Oh, football no dey move you lose cause cinema in the cinema obi anim say ya konko a obi anim say say we gain cinema ya konko a na ojaya e be me no home eye lose bi abe basa what as bi abe basa dey basa no the advice be na woman no oh me dey come kwa dey come unja cause adwuma na e wa we adwuma so ke say we be dey football we be dey football no abobo adwuma na we be dey football no abe den we be tumi ka nti no say we here โอเซเอจุมาเซวาวูชนาวูบียาวูวาเบลเดียโนเดมุเนยูเซบียาวาเบลเอ๊ะนะโอเคเซวูเอจายเดียโนเอ็นทิอาซีนะโอชาซูเ